Internet, what's up? My name's Tim Buell. Um, I'm here to talk to you about drums, and more specifically, one of my favorite drummers, Calvin Rogers. Uh, there's a song that he played an intro to. It's called Never Again by James Fortune. It's an amazing song, and the first time I heard this fill, I was blown away. The song starts off right with this fill, and it's crazy, and it's awesome. Uh, I love Calvin's playing, and this is one of my favorite fills because it kind of... If you can unlock this fill, you kind of get a really good view into a lot of the things Calvin does. So, uh, I'll play the fill again fast and then really slow, and then we'll break it down. So this fill is based on the paradiddle diddle, right, left, right, right, left, left, uh, and that's a six note grouping. So if you know anything about six note groupings, you know that usually they're phrased in sextuplets, which is where you play six notes in a quarter note. So if you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six, three, two, three, four, five, six, four, two, three, four, five, six, one, right? Uh, that's not what Calvin does here, though. He actually plays them as 30-second notes. So instead of playing six in a beat, he plays eight in a beat. Uh, and the other really difficult thing about this fill is that he doubles the right hand in these paradiddle diddles with his right foot, which means you have to have a really fast right foot. Uh, so the paradiddle diddle with the right foot sounds like this. That is super cool, but super hard to play fast. So a really good exercise, which I'll include in the PDF, there's a PDF in my blog that has not only the fill, but a couple exercises to get you in shape to play the fill. Uh, and one of those things is just playing, keeping time on your hi-hat and playing that grouping. Uh, first is 16th notes, and then is 16th note triplets. Uh, but uh, that sound, and again, reference the PDF so you can kind of see where it lines up. But my hi-hat is going to keep quarter notes, and I'll play this as 16th notes. Uh, and it's good to play to 16th notes because 16th notes are a group of four. And that's going to give you a little bit of the, at a slower tempo, that's going to give you the over-the-bar line feel that this group of six has when you play it as 32nd notes. Because if you're playing groups of six within 32nd notes, you don't, you're the the six note grouping isn't going to turn around every quarter note, right? Because you, if you have eight notes in a beat and this only lasts six, it's going to turn around in different places. So practicing this really slow as sixteenth notes, keeping time in your hi hat will help with that. So that was the quarter notes on hi-hat, paradiddle diddles with my hands and right foot as sixteenth notes. And now I'll play it as sextuplets. So practice those two things really slowly, and then this fill is just a matter of learning it really slow and then speeding it up. Uh, and once you've learned this fill, break it apart and start saying, okay, where can I apply this stuff? Calvin has some really cool creative ways to uh, break away from the paradiddle diddle thing and then go back to it. Uh, so just mess around with different variations. Um, I'll play the fill once, and then I'll just kind of jam around and uh, 
and just see what happens and mess with this idea. Um, if you want, if you like this kind of information, go to my blog, timbulemusic.com slash Tim's Transcriptions. I have a bunch of lessons and transcriptions and a whole bunch of stuff over there. Uh, and that's really in-depth stuff. Uh, not that it's complicated, it's just, you know, a couple paragraphs of me talking about stuff. And then, uh, subscribe to my channel. I have a bunch of transcriptions and stuff right here on YouTube. So, um, alright, I'm gonna play this and then mess around with it, and, uh, I'll see you next time.